Once upon a time, there was a lot I didn't know about men and sexual abuse. I didn't know that male survivors aren't all child sexual abuse victims. I didn't know that grown men, adult men, can be victims too. I didn't know that, that men could be victimized in their relationships. And I didn't know that sexual, physical, and emotional abuse can be inflicted on men by their partners. I didn't know that, that men could be told over and over by their partners that they're monsters until they believe it. And I, I didn't know that men could be coerced into thinking that they want things that, that no sane person would ever want. I didn't know, but now I know because I was a victim, because that's what my partner, my ex-wife did to me. No one ever told me that men can be victims of domestic violence. From what I'd learned growing up, men in heterosexual relationships could only be perpetrators. But before, before during, and after she abused me, my partner, the woman I love, made sure that I knew that I was a monster. She made sure at the top of her lungs and in a tiny quiet voice and, and everything in between. My partner made me think that her abuse of me was my fault. I didn't know that that's one way that abusers break you down in order to control you. My partner told me I was something I wasn't over and over until, until I believed it. I didn't know that, that all of this is called intimate partner violence and, and it can go in any direction between any two partners. People of any gender can, can abuse and be victimized by other people of any gender. And giving a name to this helped me to understand that I really was a victim. And that was the first step to reclaiming my power and my story from this abuse. But I also didn't know that some people want to erase my experience. Um, there are some academics, advocates, activists, researchers, journalists, and lawmakers who say that it's impossible that my partner abuse me because, because I'm a man. Those people say that I don't exist. I didn't know that that some people think that even if men are sexually abused within their relationships, it's so rare that we can just be ignored. And, and I didn't know that some people think that men who are victims of domestic violence shouldn't even seek help because we really can't be victims at all. Of course, that's what I learned growing up. Men can never be victims. But now I know it's not rare, and here I am. I exist. I didn't know that it's possible to be traumatized twice, but I was. Once by my abuser, and again by people's responses to my abuse. I was re-traumatized when I did a simple internet search for men and domestic violence, and I found out what I just told you, how other people thought I didn't exist and, and didn't deserve to be helped anyway. Um, and then um, one day I unwisely decided to disclose to a group of strangers on the internet that I was a male survivor of abuse perpetrated by my female partner. And about a hundred people or more took a little time out of their day to tell me that I was lying or that I should kill myself or both. Because you don't have to be kind to a monster. Those people wanted to erase me too. And then a little while after that, something else happened. Me too happened. Now I remember reading tweet after tweet of women's justified anger and just collapsing and wishing I was dead and then, and then doing nothing but, but cry for six straight hours because 
Now, as I didn't see myself in me too at all, I only saw the person my partners convinced me that I was a monster. I guess at that moment, I, I felt like I had two choices. Uh, one was erase myself. And by that, I mean, kill myself. Or two, um, somehow start talking about and feeling my pain and not keeping it all locked up inside anymore. Um, but I didn't even know if I could talk or if I could feel. But I tried talking and I tried feeling. And to my complete surprise, once I began to talk and to feel, I, I started to heal. I learned that was the way for me to escape my past of abuse and pain and fear. Uh, first, I had to talk about it. I learned that abusers demand silence. And like a lot of victims, I came to believe that silence was my only option. And I learned that wasn't true at all. Um, and then in order to escape the pain and the fear, um, paradoxically, I learned I had to feel it. And I learned that that abuse in men numbs us so that a lot of times the only thing we can let ourselves feel is anger. And I was angry. I was so angry at myself. I was angry at the world. I was angry at my situation. And, and this anger drowned out every other emotion that I might otherwise have felt. Um, but actually feeling my pain gave me a way out of that anger. But here's the thing, talking and feeling only work if we have people around us who are receptive to us talking and feeling. And as I discovered on the internet, too many people believe that male survivors shouldn't talk about what happened to us and we shouldn't feel anything about it either. But I was very lucky. The people around me, my family and friends, and and the woman who's now my wife, they all wanted to listen. And more than that, they believed me. And not only did they know, they, they let me know that I existed, they wanted me to be able to talk and to feel. I also found other allies. Now, I was, I was fortunate enough to find several amazing trauma therapists who, who helped me discover the truth about myself. I wasn't a monster, that was a lie. I'm a very real human being um, through listening and never judging. They helped me start to heal myself. And through trauma therapy techniques like EMDR, they helped my brain start fixing itself. Uh, I also found very helpful and not harmful groups of people online who've been through things similar to myself. Uh, I found a group of men who helped me understand that men could absolutely be abused but could also heal and get better and grow. Uh, I found other groups online that included women from whom I learned that women were not my enemy, but were fighting for the same things I was, acknowledgement and respect and healing. And finally, I found myself. I learned to trust myself. I learned to love myself. And through this trust and love, I'm now my own best ally and I am never going to let myself be erased. Now, I will never be the same person I was before I was abused. Uh, my body has permanent scars from what my abuser chose to do to me. And the abuse also caused injuries to my brain that I have to live with. Um, but actually, I don't want to go back to being that, that person that I was before. I'm, I'm now more empathetic. I'm more aware. Um, I know myself better. I'm more grateful, I'm happier, and I've grown so much. I am really healing. And in my healing, I've actually found passion. I am doing everything I can to assist other men who've also experienced abuse. Uh, right now, I'm helping a local domestic violence shelter uh, reach out to men more effectively. Uh, I'm volunteering for a research project where I'm helping run online groups for men who have been sexually abused. And I am even going back to school in order to become a trauma therapist myself. Um, but most of all, um, I'm raising my voice right now, even though I'm still afraid, so that other men who are experiencing 
intimate partner violence will know it is not their fault. It is not your fault. I believe you. You exist. So this is what I want you to know. I'm a man and men can be sexually, physically, and emotionally abused, but men can heal and men can become stronger and better than they ever were before. I'm a man and I'm that man and I am a survivor. Thank you.